What's up, YouTube? This is Mr. UV, a.k.a. Mr. Ultraviolet. And as you can see in this video, Naruto Ninja Awakening, we back, baby. They done changed up the whole app. It is no longer under Naruto Ninja Awakening. You can find it in the app store under Ninja Storm Origins, all right? So they created a whole new app. That's how they got around the whole licensing and all that. They said, no, we ain't paying nobody. Bandai, nah, we're not paying y'all. We're going to eat over here. So they create a whole new app. It's going under the guise Ninja Storm Origins. It has a picture of some off brand ninja on it. In the app store, it's all off brand images of ninjas that they created. Everything in the game is still the same. There's some updates, as you can see, them showing you right here. Um, level pack still the same. Stamina Cafe still the same. This is the spin event that's going on for me, Darwi. I probably most likely will not be pulling for him because I want to save my goal for what's coming up in the future. All right, so sign in. As you can see, it's still the same. They have not added anything new to the calendar. No type of new resources, redemption codes. They have yet to release any new redemption codes or promotion. If they do, I will have them in a video in the future letting you know. All right, so this new tab right here, um collective uh login they do have some decent rewards in there you know you get some gold some scrolls a lot of coins gold coins or whatever not gold bars but the coins or whatever bronze coins they do have some good stuff in there you get it from just logging in all right so we're gonna run through and we're gonna see what else they got in here new the uh, wheel of fortune as you can see it's still the same nothing new in there um the group tournament group tournament still the same you're getting the same amount of rewards for the same places nothing new so you know get back into that oh that's still the same all right um let's see what else we got all right so the events tab all of this is trash 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 all that is trash and it's all the same all right so this tab right here i wouldn't say it's trash but i would say that it's not worth it now these prices are based off how many people in your server um buy it so the more gold is used on these um, the less the price becomes I don't buy any of this stuff because I find gold is worth using only on characters and events It's no point of you using gold on these resources that you can get other ways inside the game So waste of time waste of gold if you want to be desperate and, or in a rush And you really think one of these things are going to give you a big leap over competition by all means do it I don't recommend it. All right, so let's get into the next thing we got all right, so the next thing we got on the list is the uh, Ninja Catalog. Uh, this have not changed. Um, all the tabs are still the same. Maxes out at six paths. That's still the same. The rewards in there are still the same. Um, I'm hoping they fix some of these glitches that they did have with some of these tabs or tiers on the list. Like, I remember this one right here, the main dungeon one that I was stuck on for so long. I was able to, to beat it. Basically, I had to beat it on all the modes and it let me clear it. All right, so we're getting to the next thing, the shop. The shop is still the same. All these are still the same. No new costumes, no new gear, nothing new in none of these tabs, right? All these are still the same. They do have a new tab, though, this part of the tab. Now, you are able to, uh, you know, purchase, you know, ninja tools, you know, G legendary jades, inherited stones, and some partner shards. Now, you are able to buy from this currency, that new currency i just clicked the blue one and basically you get the currency by you know selling other characters or you know um you know amount of shards of the characters to give you the currency to buy shards for new characters in the store or whatever so i don't recommend doing that i feel that you can you should probably just make all your characters as strong as possible and i say that because why would you sell your characters when they can and i wouldn't sell any characters until they're maxed out i'm talking full maxed out with the game allows you to do it but there's really no point because the characters that's in this store are the same characters that you get from, um, you know, the summons, the pools. And um, as you can see right there, I refreshed it. It did not change the list. Like I was saying, um, they're all the same characters that you can get inside, you know, the advanced summons um, or even common summons. So it really doesn't matter. And all of these are still the same, as you can see. Um, the ninja tools, all that stuff, uh, the gear. All these things right here is still the same. Nothing has changed in here. They haven't yet to add any new characters, all right, inside the store. All of that is still as you remember it from the last app. 
everything in here is still the same and like i was saying it's not worth you know selling shards of characters where you can get everything that was in that store you can get those same characters in summons and at a higher rate you know what i mean all right so the vip still the same uh you get the same rewards and all that i did find a glitch in here with the mount after uh contact the devs i should have you know the cat mount i forgot the tail beast it is i think it's two tails the cat the blue cat I should have it i don't have it but all these tabs in here are still the same same amount of gold all right now this right here the purchase gold they did change the interface on it as you can see it has the plus 100 or whatever amount of gold that they they're adding on to it for the same amount of prices that it once was i don't know if it's an extra amount that they're giving you or it's them changing up the interface for the times two because it's about almost like times two amount like they're doubling it now as you can see the times two that's left up on my screen is for the one and the five dollar i did not purchase those now i probably you know test it out later on a one dollar and see if they'll give it to me i probably have to spend about up to like three to four to see if it'll work if it's giving you extra or it's just they just got that plus goal up there just to be up there i'm not gonna buy any of these other ones 14 30 50 or 100 dollars to test it out i will test it out in the future probably for the one dollar see if they give you the extra you know gold that's in the green because i don't know why they would have the extra amount in the green and the times two as you see i don't have the times two and all the other ones because i already bought them but i don't understand why they have it up there twice so i don't know if you're getting times two plus the extra gold that they have in the green or not i will do some testing in the future to let you know about that so stay tuned for that but as of me i don't recommend spending any money on the game for a minute i'm not going to be spending any money if you want to go ahead and spend money after they done got through all the licensing and all that because it's now a new app it's not it's nothing to do with naruto they took naruto name out of it they took the images out of it so it's not like copyrights anymore basically you, the only way you want to see anything naruto related you got to download the app first so i guess they got past the licensing if you do want to purchase anything for real life currency real money by all means go ahead and do it me personally i won't be making any purchases i basically want to see where the game's going to be going like i'm still on edge i don't want to be, you know lose my investment so any all any if you see my vip vip go up it's all going to be free to play so as you can see i have 765 vip points that i still need i'm gonna be getting that 700 and whatever by you know just logging and doing my dailies every day as you can see i'm on a cusp of going into you know svip4 all right so with that cover we're gonna go into the next tab okay so all of this is still the same the daily gifts you should be getting that every day that 50 gil, uh gold all these other ones the monthlies you know unlimited bull crap all this stuff is still the same i've never purchased any of it i don't think it's worth it all right so this tab right here the monthly cards i did purchase the one on the right the gold monthly card the first time as you can see it says uh, it's a uh, what 1500 percent you know in value whatever i do find it worth it within the whole month you will collect um eight thousand gold on top of whatever you gain just from doing your daily and playing the game or what have you so i did find that to be worth um you know eight seven dollars um but i won't be purchasing it again in the future like i said i won't be spending any money but i do recommend it if you do want to spend you know a small amount of money and get a you know a bang on your buck I do recommend this out of pretty much everything else in the game so it is job worth it all right all right so let's get keep going all right let's get into the ranking as you can see this is still the same no new tabs and nothing like that everybody's pretty much the same spot that it was already at from the previous uh app all right so the friends tab all the rewards are still the same all that's still the same all right so we're going to the mounts now they have yet to add any new mounts um the skins they haven't added new skins everything's as you remember it it's all still the same um you know only thing it's pretty much changed is if you want to level your character up um this is the mount i was talking about that i should have that you get from vip but i don't have it uh should be in the vip as you can see i'm already at you know svip3 about to go on four if you you know flip through all of them the cat's not in here it was in there at one point it's not in there i don't have it unlocked and it's not after where i'm at either so i need to contact the devs if you don't have it either and you're at vips or further 
you need to do the same thing contact the devs get what's due to you because it's not in there all right so we're gonna keep it moving it should be in there we're gonna keep it moving though all right so yeah this is uh the mounts are all the same just the one you're supposed to get as you can see you're supposed to get it from events and vip it's not in the vip all right all right so we got this new tab called assist right here right this is what it looks like all right so basically the way it works is they got all the different types of the, you know elements that the characters are all right so they got these lock signs on it just go ahead and click them i don't know why they add this extra clicking for no reason it's not like you have to unlock anything to do it you just clicking a lock just to click a lock it's, it's no point but you know they got it for everyone you want to go ahead and clear all the locks off for all of them and then once you do that you basically click the plus and you're able to pick a character in your roster of that same element and when you add them on it increases you know your stats you know your hp your group hp and your uh, group damage that you know all your characters and your hero get the ghost toys you know your you know group uh power number you know all right so basically how it works is you're only able to use five you're only able to use five once you click a character on there you cannot take the character out as you, as you can see there's no remove on it all right but you can switch between them so let's say you click you uh you know max out all five slots and then you get like a new thunder character or something like that you are able to switch you know one of those old ones for the new character you unlock but you can't once they once you put them on the list you can't take them off all right i mean i, I don't understand why you would want to anyway so i guess that's why they didn't add that but once they're on the list you cannot remove them all right you only can switch between them so all right here's an example right here this is how they calculate it as you can see you have I've a and i have b they're both s rank all right because the first they graded from tier i mean like ranking tier or whatever so it's like a you know b s s's are going to have higher increase than you know a's and b's after you go through that then they calculate it from those s's five stars are going to give you more points or more damage and hp than a, a four star as you can see b is getting more stats than a is getting because b is um five star character and a is a four star character they're both s's but because the star difference is there you know you're getting a certain amount of increase on the stats all right so keep that in mind i'm gonna go ahead and add them on and it's gonna increase my stats as you can see right there so i'm getting more hp more health uh more damage all right dmg all right acronym all right so you go ahead you add these on um as you can see on the right they do have a little number there you do get those resources to um by doing the trials all right so uh basically i'll get into that but um as you see right there or on this one i have 690 it caps out at 900 i'm not sure what you use those points for or anything like that um try to click it it's nothing you can do you click on the character there's nothing you can do you really can't increase anything i don't know if they're going to add something in the future on it i'm not sure but um you know we're just going to add characters on as thus far you know just go ahead clear out all the locks and add characters that you got the highest stars and you know investment into and it'll take up you know this point this uh power stat you know your power stat your power number it says how you know powerful your account is or whatever so all right so you want to go ahead and definitely do that because it's going to increase your group power as you can see for your whole teams now as for lineup this is still the same they did change the picture they took naruto's face off like i said they had to change some of the stuff for the licensing they did change that that little picture down there on that but everything for that is still the same all right yeah i'm gonna save that for later partners because that's probably going to be the, the biggest thing all right so now the heroes all these are still the same everything in here is still the same um all the costumes are still the same as well um the same they're still the same on how you can unlock them they haven't changed anything it's either you know always events you know the events haven't came through all that is still the same now i will be saying this some of the events will be coming faster than they were previously now that they don't worked all the kinks out so the game's going to be moving a lot faster now so a lot of these characters you're seeing a lot of these gears and stuff like that you're going to be able to get this stuff faster now that the game's you know moving on it's going to pick up some traction all right but everything in there is still the same all right so you go into the bag all the items interface all this stuff 
it's still the same they haven't changed anything in here they are still the same way you level up all your characters you level them up all the same way using the same items or you know resources all that is still the same okay so experience um you go on this tab you show the little side missions you can do all of these are still the same all right all of these are still the same now if you remember kingdom of k kage's it says if you go to the end it says seven uh, mounts if you go back we don't have seven mounts yet all right it says seven mounts right that's the max one i'm not sure if that is new i'm not sure if it's new if like if they're going to add a new mount i'm not sure 100 percent but i do know we don't have seven mounts yet we only have six all right so there's only six mounts in the game thus far i guess we're going to be getting a uh, seven one in the future so keep that in mind all right now i'm going to dispatch all of this is the same now i know a lot of people they ask me how do i get so much gold without spending money i don't buy gold anymore as you can see right here this is how i do my dispatch it's a great way to get gold 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 or good high quality you know resources like the crystals i use for universal all right all this gold that's how i stack my gold i use dispatch all right fairyland is still the same i do not recommend doing fairyland it's a waste of gold there's another way for you to waste your gold right here because the rewards that you get you can easily summon for those rewards and it's random and then the skins that you get for the mount they're not even the good skins like they're not the skins that you think you can get those skins that you get from there like this for gamagichi those are the, that's the same skin you get the basic skin you get so it's really no point for you you know coming in here using gold for maybe getting good rewards it's random but you wasting gold like we look at gamagichi's uh his skin right you're not getting that one that's not the skin that you're getting you're getting this one the one that he already comes he already has unlocked all you're able to do is just put stars on it like this one for the, uh, the salamander see how it has two stars right and this one like all the other ones they don't have any stars right those with the that's what that does it just allows you to star up the skin which just you know in hand levels the amount of increase of damage and health that your mount can do but i mean that's really nothing you know too you know big it's not really going to do too much all right so new york adventure now adventure hasn't changed either i will say this about adventure it did have problems in the past i do recommend doing this this is a great way for you to level up your ninja tools and unlock ninja tools but the thing is they, the game will always crash every time i think you're finishing a fight or whatever the game will crash you have to log out and log back in it was just like it was freeze but maybe they fix that i'll let you know in the future but i do recommend doing that elemental trial this i do recommend doing this every day um like you can see right now it's thunder day this is how you get the little you know resources it's gonna be used for this new thing the assist all right like i said over here you look right there when i'm clicking the 900 slash or whatever it says i have zero to uh, thunder resources which is crazy today's thunder day but when i did it it gave me wind element so the devs they they, they sloppy they they're, they're sloppy with the things that they're doing they gave me wind element on a thunder days so that was kind of weird but yeah so i'm guessing you're basically going to use those resources for something in the future for this whole assist tab um so i do recommend going ahead to do that stack up on it before they release whatever it's supposed to be used for so go ahead and do that uh lead squad um i do recommend doing this i don't do it i'm just telling you because you never really get it it's random the rewards they give you is insignificant uh whatever dual field you know pvp is the same all right nothing's changed with that um this right here the chambers of uh, abundance that's the same i recommend doing that definitely level up your mounts all right you got the tail beast training uh they haven't added anything to this it's still the same i um, recommend definitely doing this. this is how you're gonna level up your hero with um you know the damage they do on their uh, specials ultimates passive things of that nature you use it for there all right now we got the dual field or whatever um also pvp but it, i will tell you this it is exactly the same but when you come in here you're probably going to see a lot of bots because you know the, they upload the whole system like that guy right there he's a bot you can tell if they're a bot because there's a question mark after their name so if you look at his name you see that question mark right after his name that's how you can tell if they're bots as you can see right here 
when I came in here early, when I recorded the video the first time, this place was full with bots, all right? It was like at least like 18, 10 people up in here, but it was like majority of them was bots, probably like five real people. But as you can see on the screen when I got that kill, see I had that double kill, right? That is new, all right? Three straight kills, it keeps track of your, your sprees. And um, with volume, if you're playing with volume, you will be able to hear the game talk to you and it, it does say you what it reads on screen so it'll be like double kill you know like it, it's something like old halo it reminds me of halo if you play halo back in the day where it used to pop up and be like double kill triple kill you know killing spree like they they bring that it is kind of low the volume on it is kind of low but if you cut your volume up you do want to hear they do say what's on the screen like seven straight kills god like they do say it so that is new it does keep track of it for you um i I, I'll probably I don't know if it's even worth doing to figure out what's like the highest of it or whatever have you but or how high it goes you know what they would say but I know that that is the cool little aspect that they added to the game unstoppable I think that's um like 9 or 11 or whatever so um yeah nothing to, uh yeah so that was like 10 for unstoppable all right so you know that's something new kind of cool um, so if you do see anybody in here because now the game is flooded with bots So if you do log in and you see like, you know, Susahado Sasuke like this guy you see him in there Then it's a bot because he hasn't been released in the game. You see six path Naruto in there. It's a bot He hasn't been released in the game same with like the hundred healing Sas uh, Sakura or whatever. It's a bot. All right, so that's just to let you know about that um it's a it's only a short amount of stuff that has been updated in the game that's uh, worth mentioning i am going to run through everything though um as for the story you know the adventure and it's the story mode or whatever um they haven't changed it it seems to me like that the animations are changed a little bit and they did light them up a little bit like the coloring of it but the you know the story still caps out at 26 you know the um during the, 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 the anime with naruto fought pain and he lost control um that's where that ends right there 26 and everything else is pretty much the same so it caps out at the same spot in the story they haven't added anything to that um and that's pretty much it now we're going to go into the meats and potatoes of the update that a lot of people are probably wondering about is the partners the partners is pretty much the same as in the interface and how you can level up your partners and increase them all of that is the same but they have updated the upcoming partner list so there will be new characters as you can see right there first thing to probably stand out we have another ss character we have the um, second hokage um um he's in this joint um uh all right so let, let me just go ahead and, and, and get right into it this guy right here he is a control type now if we look at his basic his basic is hitting pretty hard i'm thinking this is going to be one of those weird pseudo control characters like minato because when we look at it the guy does decent damage like you know if you play with minato or win against a leveled up minato this guy hits hard so you know um um uh, I'm thinking the second he's gonna hit pretty much about the same. Now he will have higher base stats because he's a SS. So his base stats should be double, you know, he, I wouldn't say double, but higher stats, all right? So we look at his basic, he's hitting for 200% damage, all right? Then you look at uh, Minato's basic, who has the hardest hitting basic in the game. His is 345, all right? So that, that's the gauge right there to let you know that his basic's hitting pretty hard. Now, if we look at Mu, we're not going to get too ahead of ourselves. He's a, his attack type, and his was 168%. If we look at uh, Madara, his is 180. So that 200 right there is already letting you know, yeah, this guy's probably going to be a hard-hitting control type. All right, so let's get into a special. All right, so a special, he summons a reincarnated body. It has, has uh, attached explosive tags to it and he pulls the enemy towards it dealing 474 percent damage and also burning them it has a 10 second cooldown so that's in the middle you know the lowest is four that's a roachy morrow highest is uh 12 and 10 is about in the middle because average is eight all right now if you compare that minato his special is doing 396 all right second hokage his is 474 so that's high hard that's pretty hard hitting um you know special right there so he's gonna hit pretty hard on that one and if you notice 
his special draws the enemy towards the exploding clone or whatever so it has like the aspect like pain what pain uses like his ability where he you know sucks you in and pushes you back all right his special pretty much has that same ability it sucks you in towards the clone so when it explodes you get hit and it's set on fire so he is also a, a yin character so he can't go on a yin full yin team or yin and yang team like the yin and yang team i was recommending my main team where you know uh you know the third uh or um hanzo or uh, uh you know jiraiya that whole extra fire damage also that naruto works with he can do that because he's inflicting the burning on him so he can't fit on under that team if when he comes out you think about building them that cooldown is real good it's real low and he's hitting pretty hard so this is the good ability right here i really like that that draw in type of um aspect on the ability all right now if we look at his ultimate his ultimate is that he summons a shadow clone and he pulls them towards him dealing 1200 and uh, uh 15 damage all right it also slows the enemy down by 60 percent and has a 50 second cooldown now, as you can see that 1200% damage is pretty good, pretty big, and he does, you know, inflict slow, which slows the enemy down. So they will be able to move, they will be able to attack, and you're going to be moving slower doing all of that. It does have that 50 second cooldown that I really don't like, because it pretty much means that you only can get it off once per minute. So that is something you want to think about when you use this character. But as you can compare it to his special, his special and his alter, they both have that draw in ability like pain. So, like I was saying, that is a good aspect. But because of him being a control type, it can leave you open to be take be able to take a lot of damage because he, you're pulling the enemy to yourself. So, that is something that you want to keep in mind. You're definitely going to want a tank on the team with him that taunts. If you don't have that, he's probably going to end up dying pretty fast. But he can deal big damage, all right? He will be able to deal out big damage, all right? I do like the draw in and ability, though. I will say that I do like that, all right? Okay, so let's just go ahead and get into his passive. All right, so Tobiyama's passive is that he uh, increases his dodge rate by 10%, which is good, all right? He also, when his health is above 50%, he increases all allies' crit by 10%. So allowing you know your team to do more damage if he's above 50 percent health and every 15 seconds he will silence a group of enemies for two seconds now it doesn't say how many enemies he will be able to silence it just says a group all right so i'm, I'm guessing pretty much all of them that's in his proximity now the way silence work is is that you will not be able to use any special abilities they're only going to be able to use their basic attacks it's basically like ability block if you're used to that in any other games so they will be able to attack with their basics they will be able to move they just won't be able to use any specials or ultimates all right so that is a good ability it's kind of like petrified but they'll be able to move and still you know attack pain does also have um an ability like that has horrifies pretty much the same thing they they can't use specials but they can still use basics so tobiyama he is a good character i think he's probably a solid character especially with him being ss i'm pretty sure his uh his attack his health and all the other stats is going to be higher than an s ranking character i guarantee that so it's probably all these numbers that you're seeing like his damage you know the percentage they're going to be higher than if you would compare it to like a person if he does 500 damage uh, s character does 500 damage he'll do more but you do unlock him through event all right as you can see right here on screen it says that you unlock him through event we don't know what event that will be but i'm guessing now that the game is released this new version of the app and they're past all the license and stuff events will be coming out a lot faster now all right so we can look forward to unlocking him i am um when he comes out i'm probably gonna wail out for him guarantee use all my gold so i'm pretty much saving my gold now because and see for all these new characters like that so he will be going on one of my main teams look forward to that in the future and let's just keep on going with the next new character all right and this next character is moo moo is a great character i've been waiting for this guy for a long time all right he is an earth type and there isn't too many good earth type characters in the game thus far but he is an earth type and he is an attack his basic you know he's already hitting 468 percent damage 
um that's pretty good it's pretty good it's all right it's not too nothing crazy but it's special it, his kit gets crazy as we look on that special uh this this attachment of the primitive world technique deals 453 percent damage to the enemy and reduces their dodge so we compare that to someone like minato he's hitting harder than minato on his uh special which he should because he's an attack type he's also hitting harder than someone like uh Madara uchi is so just keep that in mind He's uh, lowering their dodge by 15% for 2 seconds. It has a 10 second cooldown, so you know, right in the middle. That is good. Now, when we get into his ultimate, let's go ahead and get into that. When we look at his ultimate, you're going to be like, yo, this guy is crazy. Now, his ultimate, he summons a clone that uses his special, the Detachment of Primitive World technique, to attack the enemy. Then, just like Toby Rama, he pulls the enemy towards him, the caster, so the, the real you. The real move and then he deals 1200 percent damage that's crazy and also he increases crit uh and then um hit for like four seconds it is a 50 second cooldown so keep that in mind but remember this if you use his special and then you use his ultimate you're basically getting the extra free special because he's going to summon a clone that's going to use the special as well so you can get off two specials and you can get off an ultimate because his ultimate he does damage and the clone does damage. So the clone's getting off the 453%. And then you're doing 1200 and um 1200%. So you're getting off two attacks, which is your ultimate. Plus, you can you know kick off your special automatic, whatever. Alright, because that happens behind the scenes. You don't control partners. So they're using the specials automatically. You control the um ultimate. So when you use the ultimate, boom, you're basically calling in another special. So you're gonna want to use that pretty much when your special is already on cooldown because basically it's like a cheat code it's allowing you to call in another special so if you if you already used his special and it's you gotta wait the 10 seconds if you click in that ultimate boom you're able to call in another one now let's look at this passive he's dealing 20 percent damage to the enemies all right 20 percent bonus damage to the enemies that's below 50 percent health so if anybody's under 50 percent health they're going to take an extra 20 percent damage on top of whatever he's doing now look at this he deals double damage to enemies that's below 25 percent health so if they're if let's say you hit them they drop on the 50 percent health boom you do an extra 20 percent and then let's say you kick off something like this ultimate and they're under 25 percent health instead of doing 1200 percent damage you're going to do 24 percent damage and not to mention when you use his ultimate he does the 1200 percent but remember he calls in a clone that does you know his special so the special i think it was like what uh like four what is this 453 percent damage so they're gonna do 800 percent damage which really you know they had the 50s want so to be about 900 so if they're under 25 percent he uh, health he's gonna be hitting for 900 percent damage on the special from the clone and he's going to be hitting for 2400 percent damage on his ultimate plus you know what i'm saying the extra damage that the clone's going to come in and do another 800 you know or 900 really when they call in the clone to do it so this guy him being a damage type he can do massive damage and with the stars you know the um the bonus damage is the only thing that increases that's for you know you know scaling purposes you know they don't want to make the guy over overpowered so you do unlock him through events but um that's somebody that i'm definitely look looking forward to unlock his move all right so let's get into this new character they had new eight characters into the game they have added um jugo all right jugo was an attack type he is pretty good so you know you know he's pretty good don't sleep on these guys because they're they're a's this is going to be good for anybody doing free to play at this moment all right so um his his uh basic he's doing 400 percent damage on his basic that's actually he does the highest damage basic but it's higher than minotos but still minotos are s but let's say you don't have minotaur you don't have a lot of s characters go for this guy jugo his basic is gonna hit pretty hard now in special he's doing decent damage on that 394 percent basically you know builds up power in his hand big swole hand he uh jumps forward and then he damages enemies in his path so he's able to hit multiple people he's gonna just dash forward and if anybody's in his way he's gonna hit all of them for that 397 percent damage all right now on his um ultimate 
He's going to leap forward, hit the ground with his hand, and then he's going to deal 1200% damage to all the enemies in that area. So it's like an AoE attack. And then he's also, it it's, uh, guarantees a crit. So when he uses this attack, he uses ultimate, it's always going to crit. Always going to crit. And you know, he gets a uh, bonus damage. Um, bonus skill damage when he uses this but when he does use it he does lower his own defense by 30 percent you know it goes hand in hand with the lore in the show you know he it's like a double-edged sword you know with this guy um it is a 40 second cooldown so with that being said it is a longer cooldown you're not going to be able to kick this thing off or spam it off with someone like atachi or pain uh like how they can use theirs back to back it's about 40 so it's up there with like jariah's and um um people like that or uh anoki people like that so you're pretty still you're pretty much going to be able to get this off one time per minute but i mean him hitting him with that aoe damage of 1200 percent on top of an extra 50 percent so it's pretty much like 13 and some change percent um damage actually He's going to be able to do crazy damage, all right? And keep in mind, he's an attack type, okay? So, um, let's go ahead and look at his passive. And then after that, we'll move on to the next character. But he is good for free-to-play. Keep that in mind. So, his passive, he permanently increases his crit damage. Now, remember, when he uses his ultimate, he guarantees a crit. He's always going to crit. So, if you level, you start this guy up, and you build this guy, he'll be able to do massive, massive amount of damage. I'm, I'm probably thinking about maybe building this guy i was probably going to use a lot of my ace shards for someone like kakashi i was thinking about using it for kakashi but i might end up using it for him as you can see i have like 600 plus a shards so i could probably get him to a probably about seven seven star i might just go ahead unlock him and throw it into him all right uh shizuni or something like that whatever the pig lady uh sonate's like flunky or uh, protege she's good she's a good character let's get into why her basic is pretty you know whatever all right now on her special she spits out uh poison for 435 percent and you know tick uh damage and um on her ultimate she heals all allies for a thousand percent damage and it dispels um any like debuff so like if they have freeze petrify horrify silence she clears all that off and she heals the allies for a thousand percent damage all right that's not a thousand percent health that's a thousand percent of her damage whatever that number would be that's how much hp she's going to heal the whole team for once again 40 percent cooldown uh it's kind of long but i will say this um when we look at her passive you'll see how it can um it can basically change the game she is a great character all right so keep that in mind she is a good character all right so our passive is saying that she permanently increases the entire team's hp recovery by 20 percent so what that's pretty much saying is when she heals she's going to increase the amount of rate that they're going to be able to heal by 20 percent that is good because when you start thinking about most of these healers in the game their healing gets like all right so they'll heal for a certain amount of percent of damage but it's through you know uh four seconds or five seconds or ten seconds you know it's not all the healing in the game is not instantaneous it's, it's not like an instant heal like you would think like in most games you drink like a potion boom your health shoots back up it's not like that in this game so for example we'll look at sonade's heal right so she does damage and then she heals for 258 percent of the damage that she inflict for four seconds that's you see that four seconds so the way healers work is yeah they'll let's say that 200 percent is going to be a thousand hp but because it takes four seconds to get that full uh, you know hp buff you can lose that same amount of health or more within that four seconds same thing with her passive like every 15 seconds she's going to heal all allies for 50 percent of her you know max hp or whatever but that takes 15 seconds before you can even get that all like you can already be like in a mid seven match drop to 50 percent of your health before 15 seconds in the match start so pretty much what i'm saying is if you're gonna run a healer on the team and you really really need the healer i would definitely say pair her up with that healer because it's going to make the healer only 10 times better it's basically going to make the healer act like you thought they would have act if that makes sense because when you look at heals you think that they're they're going to keep your team alive way longer than they ever would 
but in actuality it doesn't the best healing in the game is pretty much Atachi's, you know lifesteal which is crazy because it's lifesteal but that one's the best healing because you, you're able you're putting out a crazy amount of damage and you're getting that health back you know right instantaneous that's why Atachi's heals the best because it's instantaneous all right now if you look at uh anoki's his fetters you would think that he would have Moo on there but it, it's still saying like a blank face or whatever i thought that would have been Moo right there but it's not so maybe they need to update the game or maybe we have even more characters coming um there wasn't in the the patch that they showed a couple months back so that's about it right there and i guess i'll see you in the next one and keep you updated i've been mr uv see you